I'm back with a couple of TikTok nail hacks. Ooh, bars. <laughs> but no, I'm gonna be doing some TikTok hacks today and I stumbled across two of them that I wanna try out. So the first one is the non-dominant hand nail hack. That does not sound pretty coming off the tongue, does it? <laughs> but apparently you just put the acrylic or whatever you're using on the nail tip first and then you glue it onto your nail and then you just put the acrylic on your cuticle area and your nail bed and that's supposed to be an easier way for you to do your non-dominant hand. I, you know, it might work, it might. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to make it easier, I guess, for people who don't have as much practice as I do because I literally had to train myself how to do my nails with my right hand. Oh, it was a long process and it took years. So if y'all need some help with this and this helps y'all out, I'm all for it. Okay, so first we're gonna get some nail tips. I have these that I'm gonna try out. Is it tape on here? Open. Okay, ooh. All right, so, ooh, these are long. Okay. Yeah, we gonna use these, but we gonna cut them down a little bit. Hmm, do I have any shorter ones? Let me check. No, I don't. They're all long. So <laughs> that's my only concern is kind of cutting them all to the same length, but I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. So let me go ahead and pick out my sizes. We got all the sizes picked out and I'm gonna try to measure them from this nail form and hopefully they can be somewhat even. <laughs> so we're just gonna place it right here. Mm, I think we're probably gonna take these to like maybe a four. At least I got the little indent here. <laughs> it's still kind of long. I don't want my nails that long today. So we just gonna maybe take everything down to like a three. Hopefully it's even. All right, three I can work with. All right, so I'm just gonna work my way through this. Hopefully they're even. Okay, um, I'm reconsidering the length because once I put the acrylic on, ooh, yeah. We gonna go a little longer. Let me get some new tips out. <laughs> All right, y'all see, I start and restart a lot. <laughs> But that's just part of the process. But yeah, we're gonna keep them just a tad bit long because once you file and shape them and stuff, you lose length. All right, so we're cutting them all to four. Three was just a little too short. I wish these cut all the way through. I'm scared though. But you know, if you got some scissors that cut them all the way through, then do what works for you. But you know, I can definitely see how this can be easier if you're working with your non-dominant hand. We're just gonna pretend that I am <laughs> because I got other obligations on this hand here. So we're gonna pretend like I'm right-handed today. And today I'm gonna be using this coconut acrylic from Brother Acrylic or Brother Cosmetics. Oops. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for it. All right, so I got my tweezers. These are the ones that uh, you can like place and it, it kind of holds it. It's like reverse. I don't know how to explain it, but. <laughs> All right, and we're just gonna go ahead and put the acrylic on the nail tip. Mm, see. Kind of leave a little bit of space too for, you know, where I'm gonna glue it onto my nail. The design I'm going for, I need like a white base. So I thought this one would be perfect. And I've been wanting to try out this acrylic for like a whole set. I'm trying to like not have it a big clump right here so it can blend easily, easily once I glue it on. I can definitely see how this hack will help someone who is um, struggling to do acrylic with their non-dominant hand. Cause you're basically just using your dominant hand to do all the work. And the little part you do have to do is less than doing the entire nail. I don't know. I guess this is a cool little hack, but for me, I think it's probably just easier for me to just glue the nails on and do it the old fashioned way. But that's only because I've been doing it like that for so long that this is just a little awkward for me. All right, so we got one down and four more to go. All right, so we got all of the little nail tips with acrylic on them done. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and glue these on. Just move all of this monomer and acrylic out the way just for a second. We're just gonna put some glue on the underside and we're gonna 
glue on. Making sure it's straight. So yeah, my nails are shiny because I have on peel off base coats and a gel base coat. Hopefully I can pop these off without having to soak them, but that's why they're shiny. Have the work done right there. <laughs> Even though I am old fashioned, I guess, when it comes to nails, like this is a good hack and all, but I feel like if you're really trying to learn how to do it, then maybe you can just practice more <laughs> with your non-dominant hand. Um, but yeah, this does move fast, so I can definitely say that. Ooh, did somebody get out of order? And that's another thing when you're doing them off your finger, like the nail tip, if you trim the nail tip, then the little number is gone. That's the only thing I find as well because I'm clumsy and all over the place. So I get the nail tips kind of mixed up. You know, that's just a tiny con to this, keeping everything in order. I don't know, like, <laughs> because my nail beds are so long, like, this ain't really like a hack for me. I'm still putting on a lot of acrylic. I was trying to see if this came out even. I mean, for the most part it did. I'm gonna end up evening them out once I file and shape. All right. So from here, you just put the acrylic and make everything, you know, one seamless nail. Now this part, I am definitely here for. This is much easier than doing the whole nail. I mean, we did it, but you know, we did it in pieces. <laughs> All right, so we got a little bit of that, Let's see. I was thinking when I cut the other tip down to a three that that would have been too short, but this is definitely longer than what I was going for. <laughs> I don't know. I will fix everything with filing and shaping. I guess it is like a long fill in. Every time I think of that word, I think back to when me and my mom went to the nail salon. It was like this chop shop inside the mall. And uh, one of her friends came in there and you know, they were chopping it up and you know, hey girl. And she was there to get her nails done. So, you know, after the guy was done, he told her the price. And my mama friend was like, no, that's not the price. This is a long fill in. And they're like, no, this is a full set. <laughs> because she had like, um, her nails grew out a long, like a lot. And so it was like, basically a large bit of her nail bed <laughs> was like, out and instead of doing the fill in price for her they did the full application price and she and they stood there like going back and forth for like 30 minutes and she's like no this is a long fill in this is a long fill in <laughs> And she kept saying that over and over again. And so finally the man caved in and just said, all right, whatever, just give me your money and go. And so she left. And uh, that is what I think of when I think of long fill in. Right. And as always, we want everything just even. I'm gonna try to get just a taint closer to my cuticle. Ooh, cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna continue on applying this acrylic. I don't know. I don't think this is like faster. It's just easier if you're having trouble with your non-dominant hand. Yeah, I definitely would have used this hack back when I was learning because I was seriously just like, I would do my um, right hand with my left hand like I'm doing now, but we're gonna pretend like it's my non-dominant hand. But I would do this hand, and then it, when it was time to do my left hand, <laughs> I never liked how my nails turned out. Never, ever, ever, ever. And so um, it just it just took a while. And if you go back on my channel, I mean, it's, it's a long ways back, but you can see once I start getting confident with how my non-dominant hand was, then that's when I switched over to doing one hand of a video because I used to do both hands and I would just kind of just show, you know, my dominant hand and how I was doing it like that. But yeah, once I got the confidence and it started to look better, <laughs> that's when I started doing two hands, well, a hand of video. So, you know, don't, don't use this as a crutch. This is a great hack if you're in a pinch and you kind of want to do your nails and you don't got time to be trying to learn or have ugly nails, I get it. But you also want to practice because eventually you want to be able to do both of your hands evenly. And that's all I got to say about that. 
<laughs> that was too close. I also don't want to like flood my cuticle either because like I said, I put some peel off base coat on my nails. So hopefully these are just pop on off when I'm ready for them. Cause you know, I'm proud of myself. I finally got my energy back from after, you know, having the baby and just the chaoticness of having a new family member. <laughs> I'm finally back in my groove and I'm proud of myself of really, you know, getting my channel pumping, getting the videos out. Yeah, I need to be able to take these off as quickly as possible to move on to the next. But now, instead of, you know, not filming at all like I was, you know, back when the baby was smaller, I just try to do everything now when she's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> when she takes naps, I'm like, ooh, okay. I can go ahead and start filming. Man, I am really loving though the formula. The formulation of this Brother Cosmetic Acrylic, it is really, really nice. I went easy on myself today because I'm like, I am tired of using cheap, crappy products. I need something easy to work with today. And this came in clutch. Ooh, that's beautiful. Y'all see that cuticle? That cuticle right there. Oh, that is beautiful. I never do that in one go, ever. <laughs> okay, this is starting to have a little more, more pros than cons. All right, TikTok. Y'all been on a roll with these nail hacks. This one though, I think is pretty old. I've been seeing this one for a while. I've been meaning to try it out though. So here we are. And y'all, when I bring, when I be talking about TikTok hacks and stuff like that, you know, nobody is saying that, you know, this was invented yesterday. Cause I get tons of comments and been like, I've been doing that for years. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> nobody said any of this stuff was new. So come on now. Let's just enjoy the content. I'm kind of backwards. The, Cause the way that I learned how to do nails was basically on camera. So filming it this way, instead of like the nail facing you downward, like it's kind of hard for me to do it that way. <laughs> so application, it won't be perfect. I actually do better when I'm applying it, you know, away from me. I know it's weird, but that is kind of what happens when you learn how to do nails while filming YouTube videos. <laughs> all right. All right. So we got the acrylic all laid. And uh, yeah, yeah, that was easy. <laughs> so now I'm just going to do my filing and shaping. Hopefully these nails won't pop off because every time I use peel off base coat, that is what happens. <laughs> so I'm just going to light, well, not lightly, but you know, we're going to file and shape. And just like I suspected, I am gonna lose this one already. <laughs> this is why I don't use peel off base coat, y'all. My nails are so oily that they just get to peeling off already. <sighs> Basically, what I'm gonna do is just put some glue down up in here so I can finish filing. It works too well. And I only use one coat, y'all. One coat of the pill off. So yeah, we are gonna let that just do what it do. And number two popped off. <laughs> yeah, Ugh. makes me not even wanna use pill off base coat. I can't even file them. How do y'all be filing y'all nails with the pill off base coat? This happens literally every time I use this stuff. At least I know they'll be easy to, to, to pop off. So yeah, we are gonna glue this one back on. Ugh, this is so annoying. <laughs> We are finally filed, shaped, and buffed. Ooh, this took way too long. Like every nail popped off and I had to glue it back on. <laughs> I'm just gonna pass on the um, the peel off base coat. Uh, if y'all curious to know, this is the one that I use. It's by Uber Chic. This stuff works y'all, okay? <laughs> All right, so the second TikTok hack that I'm gonna try out is this really pretty colorful one that I saw. It's this one. So apparently you put down some white polish and then you go in with some pigment powder in a rainbow fashion. <laughs> Brush it all away. Take away that little layer. And then you go in with some clear builder gel and make these dots. And I was like, okay. I see what y'all cooking. 
Looks like she went ahead and cured, wiped it off, and then that is the final design. Kind of funky, right? <laughs> so that's what we are gonna try today, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is put on the white gel polish. And depending on how I apply this, I really just wanna do one coat and I, I, <laughs> I need some more white, y'all. Look at this. I'll be using this stuff, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I really just want one good coat. So as y'all can see, this is why I wanted to have that white base, just so I didn't have to do too many layers of the white gel polish because sometimes that can make it look a little thick. I can work with that. All right, so we all one layer of gel polish and cured it and all that good stuff. Oh, uh, so now I'm gonna go in with this. This is called Nail Art Barrier. It's a peel off base coat though. <laughs> but you can put this like around your uh, nail, around your cuticle area, so it can make easy cleanup. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know what this stuff is. I guess it's like some type of form of latex or something. But this is just for the pigment powder because it's gonna be messy. I cannot really feel it drying and getting tight. Hopefully I'll be able to get that off. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go in with a makeup brush. I hate to use this one. This is kind of one of my good ones, but I don't really use it, so I'm just gonna clean it afterwards. Okay, so we go in with pink first. Ooh, it's sticking. That was the big thing I was worried about. It was like, ooh, I hope my gel polish is sticky enough. Since I have the pink on my brush already, I'm gonna just go ahead and do them all. Ooh. This is fun, <laughs> making a mess. <laughs> dab, 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 dab. See, this is what I was trying to do for, um, I forgot what nail design I was doing. I think it was the Louis Vuitton one. I was trying to use this pigment powder and it wasn't doing what it was supposed to be doing. But I just guess I wasn't using the right base coat. All right, so we gonna go in with this lighter pink color. This is gonna work out better because we're just gonna work on all five fingers while we got the powder on the brush. Ooh, I think I might venture off from the nail design and leave one of these just the pretty ombre. That'll be cute. All right, so now we go in with the orange. This is cute. I got three more colors. I just wanna make sure I'm gonna have enough room. Ooh, it's colorful. And I also see using a makeup brush works because the bristles are like stiffer. So you're able to really kind of just pop it in there. <laughs> All right, and now we go in with yellow. I guess if your nails are smaller though, it'll help to use a smaller brush. Cause I noticed in the video that brush was a little smaller. Well, it's way smaller than this one. But this is all I got for right now, so. We gonna make it work. That looks so cool. Now we're gonna go in with green. There is just something about these bright summer colors. So cute. All right, I think this is gonna work. I was kind of hesitant because last time I tried to use these, it didn't come out the way I wanted to, but it looks like this is gonna be all right. All right, and finally, we're going in with the blue. There's so much dust floating around here. This can't be safe. That looks crazy. <laughs> okay, I gotta get a picture for the, for the gram because it's that crazy looking. It's hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so now we are to dust these off. We don't wanna kind of just wanna work our way down. Oh, look at this mess, y'all. This looks like some type of art or painting or something. Look how colorful this is. <laughs> that looks cool. But I think I probably might just try this again. I think I'm gonna stick with the dots. All right, so I have this clear builder gel. I don't want my circles either to be like too big. I want them to be kind of just like, all right. They don't look like eyeballs. I think <laughs> I think some of her, her dots were a little too big. See, I like when the TikTok hacks are cool. <laughs> 
because some of that stuff on there is silly and I ain't trying none of that silly stuff. Like I ain't put no apples. I'm not encapsulating no apples in poly gel or doing any of that crazy stuff that is obvious. Like they're just doing it for the shock value. <laughs> I actually like to wear my nails at least, you know, at least a short period of time and you can't do that with no apples or carrots or whatever. <laughs> like that's, that is not me, okay? If that's what y'all want, y'all need to go over to TikTok. We do semi-practical nails over here. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. Fun. All right, so now we need to take our alcohol and wipe it off. I should have tore some paper towel off before I started this. I don't wanna get any powder all over the paper towel. That took so much wiping, like, oh my God, I use so much alcohol. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some top coat. And here is the finished look. You know, they look pretty cool. I like the colors. I think I can execute this a little better though. <laughs> but you know, not too bad for a TikTok hack. So if you enjoyed seeing me try out TikTok hacks, check out this video right here and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.